if you're looking to win battles, then use this strong Charizard team. I've been wanting to use my shiny Hundo Cowboy Snorlax for the longest time, and I finally decided to use them. I was trying to figure out a team that would work, and I figured it on my second set of playing today. So we got the Snorlax, Opsagoon, and then we got the Charizard. I was able to get a four in one set pretty easy with this team and I'll go over the different plays. So right here, my opponent actually made it a lot easier for me by swapping out to an S cap. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Uh, I didn't think it was gonna be anything crazy and it's just an acid spray. Um, you know, it is a little bit annoying, but you know what, all good. We're gonna go ahead and now throw the blast burn and I honestly didn't think he was gonna shield it and he doesn't, gets nuked out of existence. Now they're going to go ahead and bring back the Swampert. So I'm going to go ahead and just start doing a bit of chip damage here to the Swampert. And if you guys haven't already, please leave a like and also subscribe. Guys, we have reached 12k subs. So I appreciate all those that watch my shorts, Pokemon Go content. You guys are amazing. They actually uh, did a huge misplay by throwing on CMP. They took too long, basically. And we CMP there. Now I'm going to bring the Snorlax. We're going to bring the Snorlax. And it's just a lot of fun. If you guys have played with Snorlax, I honestly recommend try out Snorlax in the Ultra League. And what was I going to say? I am running Outrage. I drew a blank there for you guys. I have Outrage, but honestly, you know, Superpower is a pretty good option too. I honestly think I would have favored Superpower, but I didn't even need it. I kind of just worked up to two Body Slams. I, I don't know how long, it, how much it takes to do Superpower, but I think it might be two Body Slams. Let me know in the comment section if I'm wrong. But that's kind of what I would do. I would do like to two body slams and then to kind of bait the outrage. That's kind of like my game plan for some of these things. Uh, what it would be right here. We're going to go ahead and night slash just in case, you know, maybe we can get that buff. But even if we don't, it's all good because our uh, Snorlax either has a uh, a body slam banked or, you know, it's pretty close to moving. I think we had a, yeah, yeah, we were, we were pretty close to move already. So they had to throw energy. So we were all set for that one. On to this next match, we ended up going up against uh, Rayquaza. And I was thinking, dude, watch we're able to get that Outrage. Watch we can get the Outrage. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't need to show this. I know it's going to be a breaking swipe, right? And honestly, Rayquaza is kind of glassy. I was like, man, those um those Body Slams are doing a good damage, right? So now that I'm at the Outrage, that's when I throw the Body Slam, right? And I will shield this because... I want to apply more pressure, and I'm kind of wondering, hey, can I get this Outrage off? So they debuffed us, and now I reached the Outrage, which maybe they thought I was running, right? So because they end up shielding that, bro, that would have been awesome had we been able to get that. But hey, now they're two shields down. We got a shield advantage. I decided let's bring our Obstagoon. Let's bring our Obstagoon, and we're going to go in. Yeah, we're going to get debuffed. But because Rayquaza is actually kind of glassy, you'll end up seeing that it'll get to a point where right here, throwing the Night Slash comes very close to taking it out. Had they not debuffed us, we would have taken it out. So now at this point, I'm like, you know what, let's bring in the Zard. Let's see what we got. Zard with, with a shield advantage is pretty good, especially when your opponent is shields down. They bring in a shiny Cressalia, and I'm like, man, okay. You know, we got this. I don't know if I shield it. Okay, I don't shield it. It ends up being a moon blast. And even if it was a future site, we still got it. They have to be weak to um, Charizard in the back. So I'm like, okay. Now, the only thing, guys, I actually recommend if you have a, a Shadow Charizard, use that. Because honestly, the last match that I ended up losing, I honestly think I could have won had I had the Shadow Charizard. And it just hits so much harder. I honestly, like, see that? Had I had the Shiny Charizard, the Shiny Charizard, had I had the Shadow version i would have just killed the cresselli right there and wouldn't have had to do some well i didn't really have to catch this but i want to have its most en as much energy as possible on my charizard and much help as much help as possible but you know we're actually able to do a cross chop on to this um registeel but this is another example actually why it would have been better to have gone maybe the shadow charizard right we're gonna go ahead and shield we have to shield this guys it's gonna be a zap cannon and they lower our attack which is so annoying. So I'm doing a couple more wing attacks before I end up throwing, right? And now we're looking, it's like, ah, dude, how much damage? Please do a decent amount. And look, it gets up so close to the red and we are able to miraculously somehow get to a Dragon Club before they get to another move. I think if they even got into a, fo a Focus Blast, maybe they could have just taken me out too. So, but uh, really annoying. Or even what I would recommend, if you have a Charizard with a high attack IVs, 
use that instead. My IVs, it, it probably won't display guys, and I do apologize for that. Sometimes, honestly, just doing all these steps um, can be a little bit time consuming, but I apologize for not including that. Um, so my IVs, I think my Charizard is like at one attack IVs, right? I normally play with 14 attack IV Charizard, and I'm like, you know what? I almost felt like going back to it. I almost felt like going back to it. Um, right here, we're going up against, like, uh, I forget the name of this Pokemon, but we get, we basically faked. <laughs> we're faking the, the move there, um, the superpower. And now we're going to go ahead and swap out because they swap out to Clefable. And we're going to go ahead and take this first move. We got this. They are running. And I'm like, dude, that did so much damage. I'm like, what in the world? Um... They're running Fairy Wind, Clefable, which seems to be pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and Blast Burn here. And like I'm like, man, I'm just not liking... Um, I don't know if even with a high attack IV Charizard, would you have taken it out? But if you had the Shadow version, that Clefable would have been gone, right? We're going to Wing Attack down. We do get a lot of energy, which is nice. But we do get debuffed with that Moon Blast. Our attack did drop, which is pretty annoying, actually. Um, we're going to go ahead and get for the, the bigger move, the Blast Burn, which doesn't really do all that much. Now we're going to go ahead and swap out to the to our boss, Cowboy Snorlax, who has a, a move banked. And we're going to, oh, we, oh, we're almost able to get to another um, body slam. And our opponent ends up throwing energy, which makes things pretty good for us here. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the combo play. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the, the, my Charizard. And also the reason why I like high V Charizard is because a uh, high attack IV Charizard is because there's so many Charizard. And more than likely, you're going to end up being in the mirror match at one point. And if you have those high attack IVs, you're going to go ahead and win CMP. And it'll make it a lot easier, right? Our opponent ends up conceding the match after realizing that I have a move bank <clears throat> ready to go. Boom. Now, it, I, I just, I loved every time I was able to pair up my Snorlax sort of a uh, Cresselia. It just felt so good, right? And guys, honestly, go straight body slam. Don't even... <laughs> You guys are going to go ahead and see that I actually decided to go for an Outrage at one point right here. I don't know why. I was kind of like, you know what? We got the move. Let's go ahead and throw it, right? Let's use it. But it would have actually been a lot better, right? Our attack drop, which was annoying. And actually, I didn't realize our attack drop. So maybe this Outrage would have done a little bit more damage. But look at that. barely does anything. Honestly, it would have been better having the back-to-back -back, um, Body Slams. And at this point, though... Excuse me, guys. I just I just finished eating, so I apologize for burping there. But where I'm like, where we're able to, I was like, can we farm it down? I got scared because I don't want to lose Switch. I invested a shield. I don't want to lose Switch. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and just take them out. They got a Gengar, and because we resist the fast moves, we're gonna be able to get a a body slam off. Which you know, I mean, it does a little bit of chip damage. Hey, you know, we'll take it. And now we can align our Obstagoon, right? And then they end up. This is perfect. Because we won Switch, now we can align things exactly the way we want to. I had no idea that I had Surf Fetch in the back. But, hey, now that we can, we got the Charizard against it, and then we got the Obstagoon against the Gengar. Obviously, the Gengar has no um, Focus Blast. Otherwise, it wouldn't have dipped out the match like that, right? They do have a two-shield advantage, but we're going to easily be able to start dropping the shields here. Get the first one, and they end up, like, stopping tapping. I thought they lagged out, but they conceded the match. I just figured they weren't going to win. All right, guys, so this is the last and final match. Now, with this one, I, it was it was going to be, it was a bit hard. Honestly, the team, um, their team was had a little bit more advantage, and you guys will end up, like, seeing why. So we're going to go ahead and take this Icicle Spear like a champ. Now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of bait. I think as soon as I get to the Outrage, I'm thinking maybe that's when Superpower comes into play, and we end up getting a shield. So I'm like, dude, when I was playing, I was, like, super excited. I'm like, yes. We got a shield, right? We're looking solid. We got a shield advantage, right? Okay. So maybe I could have tried to bait another superpower, perhaps. Maybe that would have been nice to do. Maybe that would have been the way to go, maybe. Because um, what ends up happening, we do have to just leave the Snorlax to just um faint right here, right? And I'm going to bring the Obstagoon. I'm going to go ahead and bring the Obstagoon. And maybe I could have also thrown some energy. Honestly, maybe I could have... Throw some energy with Obstacle here. What's going to happen, we're going to take an Icicle Spear, right? And I think maybe I should have just, instead of farm down, because now we're taking, I feel like, unnecessary damage, to be honest. And maybe that actually, I don't know if I could have won, but anyway, you guys will end up seeing what's going to happen, right? They're going to bring in a Charmer, right? I kind of see it. Sometimes I look at the top right to kind of see if I can get an advantage of, like, what's what's to come, right? 
or, or be prepared, you know, that's probably the better word. So we're gonna have to shield these, obviously. We're gonna have to start shielding these. And honestly, maybe I should throw, no, I was gonna say maybe throw a blast burn. I think it does a little bit more damage um, just for that just for that first one, right? Because they didn't shield that, which was annoying. So now we're gonna go ahead and use our last and final shield. But now I'm honestly in, in a place where I'm forced to now throw the Dragon Claw to get a shield. And I need this switch timer to run out, right? I need the switch clock to run out because that way I can go ahead with Mobsune and the switch timer clock runs out. I go ahead and, and um, do my move. It's banked, but Swamper be beats um, Obsidian with CMP and their opponent was so smart that they dipped out right away. Kudos to them. That was incredibly smart, right? And this is when Shadow Charizard would have get a play. Look at that. I If, if it was Shadow Charizard... Had it been a shout out Charizard or maybe even a higher attack, I'd be Charizard. We might have just gone that. And maybe I'll paste that on Swampert and win CMP and win the game. But anyway, guys, I had a lot of fun with this team. If you end up using it, let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.